Okay, I'm showing you pictures of every gun that I own. And as I'm doing this, I'm going to talk to you about something. Um, I think it's really interesting that the anti-gun groups um, basically think that guns are the root of the problem. Um, they're the cause of violence. Um, apparently, they believe that if you own a gun, you know, you're going to become crazy and go on a killing spree or something like that. But I think it's really interesting that the people that they are talking about are the ones that own guns. These demonic devices that just possess people and make them go insane, apparently. So, my conclusion is one of two things. Either, one, they don't really understand what they're saying or who they're saying it to, or they know it's not true and that's why they're not afraid to say it to gun owners um, which I think is really telling because if they don't believe it then they're basically lying to us every time they say it so you know it's really interesting if that's true you know and if it's not true, they just don't really know what they're saying or who they're saying it to, then why should we listen to them? Um, and also, if you've noticed, um, and I'm going to go back through, like that, that's an AK-47 clone. That's one of the evil, deadly assault weapons. Okay, um, that holds a 25-round magazine, which is an assault clip, according to what they say. <clears throat> Here's an AR-15 pistol holding 30 round magazine or a 30 round high capacity assault clip. It's also a semi-automatic pistol based on the AR-15 series, which is one of those evil assault weapons. This is actually an assault rifle back in World War II. It's a, a um, I can't remember the exact model of it. The Enfield. This was a military issued weapon. There's a Glock 21. It holds, it holds, it holds 13 rounds in the magazine, which means it's a high capacity assault clip. I also, a 20 round mag for it. There's a Glock 27. It holds 10 rounds or nine rounds in the magazine, so it's okay. There's an Intratec AB10 with a 29, 30 round magazine or a high capacity assault clip. It's a assault pistol. It's one of those evil ones. Here's another one. Here's an M44. Okay, it's based on the, the um, Russian Mosin Naget, which was a military rifle at the time, at one time. So this would have been classed as an assault rifle. So would have this. This is a Mauser. Um, can't remember the exact model of it, but that's a military issued weapon. So that was an assault rifle at one time. Oh, here's one of those, another one of those deadly assault clips. High capacity assault clips. You know, with a scary looking gun. Now here's another one. This this is a Rock Island Armory 1911. This is based off of a military issued pistol. So I find it very interesting that one military issued weapon, or clone of a military issued weapon is okay, but another clone of a military issued weapon is not okay. You know, it's... It's just... insane how they these they talk it makes no logical sense you know you take a gun like this, this is a 12 gauge shotgun um, most weapons experts agree this is one of the most deadly weapons because if I hit you in the center of the chest you're pretty much toast no matter I mean if if I'm off center or not as long as I hit you dead center chest or in your chest generally with this shotgun you're pretty much and having a bad day so this is completely and totally okay. Now you take something like that, which takes a lot more practice to shoot effectively than a shotgun because you're using a much, much smaller round. But that's wrong. That's bad because it's scary. Now if I put a five round magazine in it, and I take, oh, let me so, get something else so you can see better. If I take, and I put a ten round magazine in there, or a five round magazine in there, 
and I remove this piece right here. Oh, now it's okay. okay. So, gun control advocates, most of the gun control advocates talking about guns cause violence obviously don't understand or believe what they're saying. And then, the determination of an evil, bad assault weapon is purely cosmetic. So, you know, interesting.